Audiobook Summary of Sleep Smarter by by Sean Stevenson Are you having trouble sleeping? Sleeping is difficult for you? Is your sleep constantly interrupted? Are you feeling sleep deprived? If so, then this book is for you. Life would not be complete without sleep. Like eating or breathing, it's essential. Despite this, we often disregard it in our fast-paced world. You will learn about the many benefits of sleep in this book. You will also learn several tips that will help you improve your sleeping habits. A good night's sleep can make you happier, healthier, and more successful. It's a fact. Now is the time to bid yourself good night, sleep well, and have a sweet dream. Your lullaby will be this book. Know the value of sleep. Despite knowing the importance of sleep, people don't get enough of it. The body and mind rest naturally during sleep. The eyes are usually closed, and consciousness is lost. As a result, there is less body movement and less response to stimuli. Anabolism occurs when you are asleep, and catabolism occurs when you are awake. Being awake breaks you down, while sleeping builds you up. Your body is rejuvenated and youthful when you sleep. Getting enough sleep strengthens your immune system, improves your metabolism, and increases your energy levels. Sleep also stimulates your brain and balances your hormones. A lack of sleep will prevent you from achieving the state of mind and body you want. There is a great deal of disregard for sleep in our world today. Work hard and you'll succeed is the prevailing belief. Only when you're dead can you sleep and rest. Success requires hard work and perseverance. It is much better to do smart work or quality work. Sleep deprivation compromises the quality of your work. There is 6% less glucose going to the brain if you spend a day without sleeping. You become dumb as a result. When you lack sleep, you crave sweets. Your brain signals you to eat donuts, cookies, and chocolates. Another important discovery has been made. Lack of sleep causes logical thinking parts of the brain to be deprived. Staying awake causes the prefrontal cortex and parietal lobe to lose 14% more glucose. People are prone to doing dumb things after midnight because of this. Have you ever been in a similar situation? When you aren't sleeping, it is harder to distinguish right from wrong and make good decisions. When you are well rested, you wouldn't do that dumb thing in the morning. Sleep is a natural period of rest as defined earlier. Working should not be disrupted by it. Sleep is essential for your body and mind. While you sleep, natural processes take place inside your body. Lack of sleep prevents you from being effective. When you try to work, you don't accomplish anything important. It has been shown that people who lack sleep take 14% longer to complete a task. Additionally, they are 20% more likely to make mistakes. Make sure you get enough sleep. If you're well rested, you'll be able to accomplish more. Zombie work is never quality work. I have a sleep power tip for you. You should allocate enough time for sleep if you have a big project or exam coming up. Put it on your calendar. When you sleep, you are not slacking off. In addition, it is part of your preparation for your project or exam. Get more sunlight during the day. What is the circadian timing system? Simply put, it's our 24-hour body clock. You will know when to sleep if you get enough sunlight during the day. You can also sleep deeper when you are exposed to sunlight. Your body clock is located in your hypothalamus. Sunlight is perceived by a group of nerve cells there. That's how your body knows it's time to sleep. The hypothalamus signals your whole body to be awake and alert when there is sunlight. Body clocks will be confused if you don't get enough sunlight during the day or if you are exposed to too much light at night. 
sleeping will be difficult for you. What if you're a desk jockey? What if you spend most of your time at work? Office workers who don't get natural light sleep one hour less per day. Sickness, low energy, and sleep problems are more common in them. Find a way to get some sunlight if you work in an office. You will be more productive and happier as a result. The first sunlight power tip is here. Make sure you get plenty of sunlight before you go to work, especially between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. Your body will benefit from even a 30-minute exposure. The second sunlight power tip is here. If your cubicle at work is like a dungeon, take advantage of your break time to get some fresh air. If you want to eat your lunch outside, you can go to a window. It will improve your skin and hormonal function if you take a 15-minute break in the sun. Avoid the screens before bedtime. Your electronic gadgets emit artificial blue light. This light triggers your body to release daytime hormones like cortisol. A two-hour use of iPad at maximum brightness is enough to stop your melatonin production at night, according to research. Our bodies produce melatonin, a hormone that keeps us active and young. The amount produced by children is higher. There is less in adults. As a result, melatonin will make you look and feel younger. Artificial blue light from your TV, smartphone, or laptop will definitely disrupt your body clock in addition to hormonal dysfunction. Over time, you will develop insomnia and other health problems if you use gadgets every day before sleeping. We need to be more aware of our body's natural need for sleep as a result of modern technology. The first screen protection power tip is here. At least 90 minutes before going to bed, turn off all your gadgets. Especially if you suffer from insomnia, this is definitely worth a try. A power tip for screen protection is to do other things like reading a book or talking to a loved one instead. Even if you are really hooked on your smartphone, reading books is a great habit to get into. You can find good stories, inspiration, and information in books. Getting a new idea from a book can make you a better person. Face-to-face -face communication is the best. Before you go to bed, talk to your kids, parents, spouse or partner. Find out how their day was, what makes them excited these days, or what worries them. You will also feel better if you do so. Not only will your sleep habits improve, but so will your personal relationships. Have a caffeine curfew. Caffeine lights up your nervous system like Christmas. This is a very powerful stimulant. It is definitely not a good idea to drink coffee before going to bed. We must regulate our consumption of coffee because people love it. There must be a caffeine curfew of six hours. You must drink your last cup of coffee six hours before bedtime. Wayne State University conducted a study to prove this. Before going to sleep, three groups of people were asked to drink coffee right before sleeping three hours before sleeping, and six hours before sleeping. At home, they should keep a diary and a sleep monitor. Sleep disturbances were experienced by all three groups. It is not a good idea to drink coffee before bedtime. Drinking coffee after work is also a good idea. One hour of sleep was lost by the group that had coffee six hours before going to bed. After drinking coffee, caffeine stays in your body for 8 hours? Assume you consumed 200 mg of caffeine. Your body will retain 100 mg after 8 hours. You still have 50 mg after 8 hours. You probably drink more than one cup of coffee every day if you love coffee very much. You get the idea. There will be a lot of trouble sleeping for you. Our brains fire neurons as we go about our daily activities. As a byproduct, they release adenosine. Tiredness is caused by this substance. 
The brain signals the body to sleep or rest if there is enough adenosine. Adenosine is interfered with by caffeine. Despite being tired, it keeps you awake. Caffeine makes you unaware that you really need sleep. As you work and move around, you continue to do so. Stress hormones go up, and your whole body feels tired. The first smart caffeine power tip is here. Before 2 p.m., have a cup of coffee. The second smart caffeine power tip is to skip coffee on three days a week. As a result, your body loses the remaining caffeine. Caffeine should be avoided if you suffer from insomnia. Get to bed at the right time. There is a right time to buy and sell stocks in stock trading. There is a right time to get the most important hormones in the body while sleeping. Between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. author called it money time. As an example, you slept from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. You can say you slept enough after 8 hours. However, you missed out on the money time. From 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., hormonal secretions occur when you're asleep. Melatonin and human growth hormone are two hormones you don't get. Keeping the body active and young is their responsibility. When you wake up from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m., you will still feel exhausted because you slept from 1 a.m. to 9 a.m. Even after sleeping for 8 hours, you don't feel rejuvenated. Our body clock has a period called second wind. As an example, you arrive home from work at 7 p.m. Your body feels exhausted. With your family, you eat dinner and watch TV. You will experience the second wind if you are still awake at 10 p.m. Melatonin and antioxidants are released at that time. Once again, you will feel energized. Rather than sleeping, you check your Facebook or Twitter and then watch some Netflix episodes. You'll have a hard time sleeping now. You should already be asleep when the second wind comes. If you fall asleep at 1 a.m. and use your gadgets instead, you'll feel tired and groggy the next morning. Consequently, you didn't receive the benefits of the money time. The first money time power tip is below. Every night, try to sleep between 10 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. In this way, all your hormones will be released and your sleep cycle will be completed. Sleep is divided into three stages. The first step is to get deep sleep. The second stage is non-REM or alert. The third stage is REM or dreaming. The stages last 90 minutes each. As you sleep, the cycle should repeat twice. You will have completed two sleep cycles if your alarm goes off at 5.30 a.m. There is no interruption to any of the cycles. In the morning, you will feel more refreshed. The second money time power tip is to get sunlight as soon as possible. Your cortisol levels will be boosted by sunlight on your skin. It will give you the alertness you need to start the day. Rub the anti-stress mineral into your skin each day. Magnesium is an anti-stress mineral. There are plenty of benefits that magnesium has for your body that you might not be aware of. Blood circulation and blood pressure are improved by magnesium. In addition, it balances blood sugar levels. In addition to reducing pain, it heals tense muscles. According to doctors, Magnesium is responsible for 300 enzyme reactions in the brain, muscles, and bones. Energy is made by the cells, and the nervous system is calmed by it. The importance of magnesium for overall health and longevity cannot be overstated. The majority of people, however, do not get enough magnesium. In the United States, 80% of the population suffers from magnesium deficiency. Chronic insomnia can be caused by magnesium deficiency, according to research. Having more magnesium in your body will help you relax and sleep better. Magnesium can be obtained by taking supplements or eating fruits and vegetables. 
You can also get all the benefits of the anti-stress mineral in another way. Do you know what Epsom salts are? You put these in the bathtub like rock salts. By bathing in Epsom salts, you will reduce stress, eliminate pain, and have a good night's sleep. What's this? Magnesium sulfate is the main component of Epsom salt. Today, magnesium oils are also available. Before he goes to bed, Sean Stevenson massages magnesium oil on his body. He sleeps better because of that. Digestion loses some of the magnesium we consume. It is also effective to rub magnesium into your skin. More anti-stress mineral power tips can be found here. The first thing you should do is to apply magnesium oil to your neck or shoulders. If you feel muscle pain, you can rub it anywhere. The second tip is to eat a lot of green leafy vegetables. Magnesium is also found in spirulina, sesame seeds, and pumpkin seeds. Create a sleep sanctuary. Sleep is the purpose of the bedroom. This is not a place for entertainment. Bring no gadgets. Do not work in bed. There is no doubt that these distractions will interfere with a good night's sleep. A child is taught that going to the bedroom means it is time to sleep. After brushing their teeth and changing into their pajamas, we tell them to go to bed. It is time for us to get back to that mind association we used to have as children. The purpose of a bed is to sleep. You can't study, work, or play on it. When we say sanctuary, what comes to mind? A garden or an open space with plants and fresh air might come to mind. Everything is calm and silent in this place. Your bedroom can actually serve as a sanctuary. Fresh air is the first thing you need. Air isn't the only source of oxygen. Ions are also beneficial to the body. Open a window or use an electric fan to let the air flow and relax once again. Your body will feel soothed by the calm breeze. Negative ions, what are they? Mountain, rivers, oceans, and waterfalls contain these good air particles. Healing properties are associated with them. Using them can prevent the buildup of odors, mold, parasites, dust, and pollen. Your bedroom can be equipped with an air ionizer. A humidifier can also be purchased. You can use an air humidifier if you don't have a window in your room. The air humidifier can be filled with different scents. Adding moisture to the air and smelling your favorite flower might help you sleep better. The sound of running water appeals to some people. To make your sanctuary more relaxing, you can purchase mini fountains or mini waterfalls. You can also add mini plants to your bedroom. Plants like English ivy, snake plant, and jasmine can be purchased. They are low maintenance, but they can definitely improve the air quality in your bedroom. Whether you choose plants, air humidifiers, or mini fountains is entirely up to you. As a sanctuary, your bedroom should be calm and peaceful. Get it blacked out. We sleep better when the lights are off. Sleep can be disrupted by any source of light. It is still not enough to use an eye mask. The skin is capable of detecting light. Like the retina in the eye, your skin has photoreceptors and light-sensitive chemicals. Light pollution should not be allowed in your own room. Take a moment to imagine the ancient people. There are no artificial lights in their homes. Their body clocks are perfectly in sync with nature because of this. But in our modern times, artificial light is everywhere. That is why our average time of sleep has significantly decreased. The answer is to get your room blacked out. Turn off all your artificial lights inside the room. You can also buy some blackout curtains. That is to avoid the light pollution coming from street lamps or passing cars outside your home. Imagine how comfortable your sleep will be if the room is silent, dark and a little cold. 
It's like sleeping in a hotel. You will really get refreshed and energized in the morning. Here is get blacked out power tip number one. Another source of light pollution is your digital alarm clock. You can solve it by covering a towel. Get blacked out power tip number two is don't let any light sneak in. Make sure the curtains fit and there are no lights blinking anywhere. The target is that even if the sun is up outside, your room is still very dark. Train hard but smart. Sleep and exercise go together. They're like peanut butter and jelly. When you work out, you are tearing your muscles. The changes you want in your body actually happen in your sleep. During slumber, you get the hormones and muscle repair you need. The best time to work out is early in the morning. It is when you will get longer and deeper sleep. You shouldn't exercise in the evening because the muscle stress will add up to all the activities you did throughout the day. As a result of the workout, your body temperature will also drop after 6 hours. You can do push-ups, sit-ups, and lunges for 30 minutes. Exercise is much more enjoyable if you get sunlight. Your body and mind will benefit more. Conclusion The importance of sleep was explained to you. With the tips you learned, you will be able to sleep better at night. There is more to sleeping than just resting or resting. If you have sleeping problems, I hope you will apply these tips and make changes in your life. In the morning, you will be more productive if you get a good night's sleep. Your health and happiness will improve. Success can be achieved through sleep. If you become smarter about it, that is. It's time to work when the sun is up, and time to sleep when the sun is down. Hope you enjoyed this book summary, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more audiobook summary.